They were uh, Black History Month cards. So one person gave her one, and then the second child thought they could make a better one. Those cards came in crayon to her biracial daughter, Chloe, calling her my favorite monkey on another a stick figure hanging from a tree and another titled my favorite cotton picker. Chloe is in the sixth grade. She knows she's black and really embraces her culture, but maybe felt that black is different. Because before, yeah, we are all, you know, black, Hispanic, white, but it was never in a way that she was made felt different. Or unsafe. Definitely unsafe. Marlene Reynoso's daughter is a student at Pepper Tree Elementary School in Upland, California, where she says racial bullying began with these cards, then continued verbally. But this wasn't happening just to her child. That our daughter was told that she would have, she was going to get one too. That it was going to be a slave hanging from a tree and say that you're my favorite slave. There's what I thought were clouds, but it says cotton. Like it was very detailed, very specific. They're made out of yes, crayons. out of crayons. It's coming from somewhere. The parents. These are the these are the parents of the kids that my kids go to school with. School board meetings across the country have increasingly become the setting for the nation's culture wars. But within school halls, the U.S. Government Accountability Office says race-related hate is a widespread problem. One in four students between age 12 to 18 reported seeing hate words or symbols on campus. And of the more than five million students who reported being bullied, one of four were targeted because of their race or identity. In Upland, a suburb nestled in the hills east of Los Angeles, the district superintendent said in a video response to the public that there will be no tolerance for racist behavior. Anyone engaging in hateful, racist, discriminatory, or otherwise bullying behaviors will be held accountable. It hurts. These are my babies. But the Douglas children remain at home. Chloe, who first got the cards, also has not returned to class. These parents concerned for their children's safety after a lesson they never should have learned at school. They need to see now, and they're seeing it in a very harsh way. They're seeing it that not everyone is going to accept or be accepting of them for who they are. And we did reach out directly to the superintendent you saw in the story, as well as the assistant district superintendent. We did not hear back. The parents, Don and Poppy, will keep their children out of school until they're convinced that this bullying, because of the race, will end.